Dear students, in this lecture, we will look at in detail about the types of endoplasmic reticulum. The first one is the A granular or smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The smooth type endoplasmic reticulum occurs mostly there in the cells that are involved in the lipid metabolism. Lipids including the steroids and glycogen. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum is found in adipose cells, interstitial cells, glycogen storing cells of the liver, conduction fibers of the heart that is heart beating related fibers, spermatocytes as well as leukocytes. The muscle cells are also found to be rich in smooth endoplasmic reticulum. In the muscle cells, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is called by a specific term called as a sarcoplasmic reticulum. In that, the word sarcus has been referred to flesh as per the Greek literature. It is a special type of smooth endoplasmic reticulum that have been found there in the smooth as well as the striated muscle cells. In pigmented retinal cells, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum commonly exists in the form of a tightly packed vesicles and tubes that are referred by a term called as a myeloid bodies. Next, we look at into the other types of endoplasmic reticulum that is glycosomes. Generally, smooth endoplasmic reticulum forms a continuous network there with the rough endoplasmic reticulum. However, when you look at into the liver cells, the tubular network of smooth endoplasmic reticulums forms a major portion there in the cytoplasmic matrix. These fine tubules were in turn found to be present in regions that are rich in glycogen. So, it is called as a glycosomes. So, certain cytoplasmic matrix in which that is glycogen is present in a huge amount that particular regions of the endoplasmic reticulum are referred by a term called as a glycosomes. Glycosomes measures about 50 to 200 nanometer in diameter and they found to contain glycogen along with the enzymes that are involved there in the synthesis of the glycogen. The next one is a granular or rough endoplasmic reticulum. It is referred as a rough because of the presence of ribosomes that are attached to the membranes. Thus, the ribosomes play a major role there in the protein synthesis. The granular rough type of endoplasmic reticulum are then commonly found in the active protein synthesizing cells that includes parenchymatous cells, plasma cells, goblet cells as well as liver cells. When this granular type of endoplasmic reticulum are stained, they will be easily taking up a basic stain which is staining there or complexing there with the RNA component of the ribosomes. The region of the matrix that containing granule type of endoplasmic reticulum takes about the basophilic stain or technically termed as a ergastoplasm or chromophilic substances or missile bodies. The next type is microsomes. Microsomes are commonly come across when the tissues of an organism were subjected for subcellular fractionation. When they are homogenized and subjected to subcellular fractionation, endoplasmic reticular membranes often break into small fragments, thus spontaneously close to form some sealed vesicles. They are referred by the term microsomes. However, microsomes do not naturally exist in there in the cell system, but they are simply some artifacts or artificially created things during the cell fractionation process. Next, we will look at into what are the enzymes that have been present there in the endoplasmic reticulum. What are the various kind of enzymes and what is their role there could be in the endoplasmic reticulum. Enzymes of endoplasmic reticulum are involved in the various processes such as synthesis of glycerides, example triglycerides, phosphoglycerides, glycolipids. They are involved there in the synthesis of fatty acids. Biosynthesis of steroids, especially the cholesterol biosynthesis will be taking place there with the help of enzymes of the endoplasmic reticulum. They are involved there in the L-ascorbic acid that is the vitamin C related precursor synthesis. 
then UDP glucose dephosphorylation, UDP uranic acid metabolism. These are all again associated there with the enzymes that have been present in the endoplasmic reticulum. So, if you look at the right hand side image, you can able to see the various enzymes that have been present there in the endoplasmic reticulum and the location in which they could be present there. For example, you look at there into the cytochrome P450, which is an abundant enzyme present there in the living system. They are present there both in the cytoplasmic as well as the luminal phase. This enzyme may be playing a major role there in this following process that is in a hormonal regulation, fatty acid metabolism, metabolism xenobiotic metabolism, secondary metabolite synthesis or with the plant defense as well as the antioxidant biosynthesis. So, whatever functions of the cytochrome P450 I have listed is there with that of the plant system. Apart from that, in general, they play a major role there in the liver in the breakdown of the toxic substances. Apart from cytochrome P450, you can able to see a lot of different enzymes and their particular localization there in the right hand side. Some enzymes may be located there in the cytoplasmic phase. Some may be present there inside the lumen. Some may as that of a cytochrome P450 are located in both the surface and they play a major role there in the living systems. Now, we will look at into the functions of the endoplasmic reticulum. They serve many general functions there within the cell. It includes the facilitation of the protein folding, a proper folding of the protein into a three-dimensional conformation and then the transport of the synthesized protein with the help of sac-like structure called as a cisterne. The correct folding of the newly made protein is made possible by some kind of special chaperon proteins that are associated there in the endoplasmic reticulum. Other general functions that are carried out by the granular as well as agranular endoplasmic reticulum are also listed here. Endoplasmic reticulum serves as a source of membrane lipids and cholesterol and most enzymes that are required for biosynthesis of phospholipids are in turn synthesized there in the endoplasmic reticulum. The other functions of the endoplasmic reticulum includes providing an ultrastructural skeletal framework to the cell which gives a mechanical support there for the colloidal cytoplasmic matrix that have been present there inside the cell. Exchange of various molecules are in turn facilitated by endoplasmic reticulum. These molecules are exchanged through the process of osmosis, diffusion or active transport that occurs through the membranes of the endoplasmic reticulum. Like a plasma membrane, the endoplasmic reticular membrane are also found to have permeases and various carrier proteins that are involved there in the transport process. The endoplasmic reticulum contains many enzymes which perform various synthetic and metabolic activities of the cell. Further, they provide a seat there for the enzyme reactions or enzyme activities through increasing the surface area available for the process. Endoplasmic reticular membranes form the new nuclear envelope after each nuclear division, the endoplasmic reticulum membranes were found to conduct the intracellular impulses, especially there in the sarcoplasmic reticulum. So, special structures of endoplasmic reticulum present there in the muscle cells are called as a sarcoplasmic reticulum. They transmit impulses from surface membrane there into the deep regions of the muscle fibers. So, this process now we will look at into some specific functions carried out there by the smooth endoplasmic reticulum as well as the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum has functions in several metabolic process, especially those including synthesis of lipids and steroids, metabolism of carbohydrate, regulation of a calcium concentration, drug detoxification for which we have already studied there is a cytochrome P450 that was involved in the process of detoxification, attachment of receptors on the membrane proteins and steroid metabolism. All these processes are in turn mediated there by the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. They also found to contain the enzyme glucose 6-phosphatase. This is an important enzyme which converts glucose 6-phosphate into glucose as well as the phosphate molecule. This enzyme 
play an important step there in the gluconeogenesis and it is the one which maintains the glucose homeostasis there in the blood systems. Next, we look at into the points related to rough endoplasmic reticulum. The rough endoplasmic reticulum manufacture membranes and they play an important role there in the synthesis and the export of proteins and glycoproteins. The steps there involved in the protein synthesis are the fo folding of the polypeptide, recognition and removal of misfolded polypeptide and even the assembly of multimeric proteins. So the five principal modifications that happening there in the proteins includes addition and processing of carbohydrate that is called as a N-linked glycosylation process, formation of disulfide bonds, proper folding of the proteins, specific proteolytic cleavages and assembly of protein into multimeric protein structures. So these are all the functions that are all mediated there by the endoplasmic reticulum. So endoplasmic reticulum also serves as a site for the quality control there in the cell. Human diseases which include cystic fibrosis and familial hypercholesterolemia are all associated there with the defects in some of the enzymes that have been involved there in the protein synthesis process of the endoplasmic reticulum. The name rough endoplasmic reticulum was given presence of the ribosome there in the endoplasmic reticulum. That is the reason it is called as a rough endoplasmic reticulum. So the best studied secretory cells that found to have more amount of rough endoplasmic reticulum and they are involved there in the protein synthesis includes the liver cells that are secreting serum proteins such as albumin, endocrine cells that are secreting peptide hormones that includes insulin, salivary gland cells. They are all the one that are having a very active role there in the secretion of protein. So automatically they found to have more amount of rough endoplasmic reticulum. The ribosomes only bind to the endoplasmic reticulum once it begin to synthesize the protein destined for sorting through the different region within the cell. Although there is no a continuous membrane system between plasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus, membrane bound vesicles shuttle the protein between these two components that is between the endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus. Rough endoplasmic reticulum is key in producing certain lysosomal enzymes with a MANO6 phosphate marker or tag which are added there in the cis Golgi network which are specifically added for the function of secretion. Next, we look at it to the functions of the sarcoplasmic reticulum. It stores and pumps calcium ions. They contain large stores of calcium which are sequestered and then released when the cell is depolarized. This has an effect there in triggering the muscle contraction there in the cells. The other general functions that may be carried out there in the endoplasmic reticulum includes insertion of proteins into the endoplasmic reticulum membrane, glycosylation function, disulfide bond formation and rearrangement and drug metabolism.